at GP we learned about the no fourth system. So we have to think about the future of fourth. You know, so that uh, technology matters, and you know it matters that you know how we have multi-sectoral you know thinking on that. But you know when we go to our country, what we see is this, and this is from our you know water GP project that you know uh, you know. Uh, uh, I'm working with, uh, and this is the ad GP water GP, you know, uh, thinking, you know, how to advance these situations to a new regime. So this picture is, you know, when I entered uh, ad GP, and you know, the woman uh, irrigating the soil, just you know, uh, bending eight hours, and for two dollars, and the uh, you know per irrigation cost is you no know, twenty five dollars, and this is in a state of West Bengal, which is, you know, number one in vegetable in India, and uh, 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 most, uh, uh, second largest producer of potato, and this is the potato field. And, you know, it, it, it convinced me as a horticulturist, and I, I changed my hat as an MBA and a technical degree in agriculture, because that is very important. We need to see dollars there, and we need to also see where the technology can make a difference. And then, we, uh, we work with you know uh, this uh, water GP project and this across GP learning. This is a tribal farmer Paritosh, and you know he is in a tribal hamlet in Bankura. And we introduced high tech agriculture, you know, production systems. And you will see that you know our agriculture system is are suboptimal. So on farm job possibilities are more. So when you know his wife got into this nursery business of tray plug nursery, and uh, you know got a, uh, in a six square meter of uh, you know, uh, uh, piece of land, she could earn you know five hundred dollars by selling the saplings and uh, nutrition. For the first time, when I second time I visited this village, all the women in the village confided that for the first time they ate cauliflower, and that was so cool. Like you know, forty kg of uh, you know cauliflower per household they are eating throughout the season. So, so the uh, what we are investing in West Bengal is that you know a series of you know, uh, uh, horticulture uh, and uh, fishery and uh, cereal based, you know, uh, uh, technologies, but with a business in mind. To see that, you know, how the agripreneurs can, as William was telling, agripreneurs, uh, uh, how Paritosh could become an agripreneur. And then there is a, you know, all the models have a business case. That what is the cost and what is the business return. So every time we introduce a technology, we call it a business. So the farmer should see that, you know, what the, uh, dollar there is. So, uh, and the private sector linkage, I would like to emphasize that, you know, the project was very, you know, shy of bringing private sector interest because it's a, you know, bit of uh, uh, hegemony of their left uh, thinking. But, you know, uh, we convince the client that, you know, you need, when you are bringing new technology, the farmers needs to also have the input market in place. And the private sectors are there. So the private sector engagement for, for the capacity building of the farm. The partnership can happen at you know in various ways. So we are working with Indofield, Monsanto, Syngenta, and they are training the farmers. So you have a win-win proposition. These are no-cost partnerships. And uh, in the AP project, it's a beautiful project in design. I think very futuristic in thinking. Wherein we are thinking that you know how the my colleague Vinay was telling about the producer collectives. Not only we are organizing around you know a quarter of a million farmers into producer collectives. But also we are thinking how the rural wealth, when we create in the rural area, uh, that will increase the rural consumption. And the rural retail space is a huge opportunity for creating enterprises and a job. And then the service delivery, how the rural people access. So the, uh, uh, your uh, uh, left hand uh, picture, that lady, I transacted in a remote backward village with her and uh, uh, got uh, 500 rupees note uh, uh, thousand, uh, 2,000 rupees note when, you know, uh, in the uh, demonetization stage of India. So you can think that how service delivery is opening a new opportunity and she, she is an entrepreneur, you know, and she wants to grow big, she wants, has higher aspiration, she needs a uh, uh, little bit of, you know, uh, uh, a jerk to get into a technology space and do that. So I'll skip this. So there are different paths of enterprises and I will just uh, I try to emphasize here that last 20 years we have been thinking about productivity, productivity, productivity. Now it is time to talk about profitability. And once we talk of profitability, we have the situation of you know, thinking in a business mind about the agriculture. And then our risk-taking ability of our agripreneurs increases and then... Uh,
So uh, in this other project, we are working with around 20 uh, you know, companies uh, uh, on the market linkage side. But besides that, you know, we have business linkage with this you know, rural retail people. The, how they get you know, quality stuff at a uh, lower price. So few of the learnings, I think, uh, I believe market first should be the mantra. We should have market-based production systems. We have millions of job opportunities, but we need to see business in our situations, in our activities. We think that producers need new institutions. So we, how we have prepared ourselves in the enterprise domain. We have to also upgrade our skills in that. We have to learn continuously for that. But technology adoption needs acceleration. ICT, like uh, you know, we are working with Digital Green and the pharma business schools. Pharma business schools has been an approach since you know, years uh, with FAO. Now we are thinking in AP project, community-based pharma business schools and how we, the farmers can see the profitability part of it. Technology can travel from south as well. It need not to be that you know we have to learn from UDC, but like the red gram transplantation uh, uh, which we are doing in AP, it uh, improves you know productivity by 50%. That can travel to Africa, that can travel to Myanmar, you know, and how we can learn from south-south. Uh, and uh, uh, partnership needs to be you know structured in a way that there is a win-win situation, and I think we have uh, new market uh, skills are required for you know job creation thank you so much for thank your you attention much. Thank you.